What's up guys, Jay-Z Aquatics here, and today we are going to be aquascaping this little two and a half gallon on the right. It has been cycled for a while now, we got snails in it, and we are going to put in a really cool fish that I'll show you at the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and get it scaped. I've got some rocks and I've got a little plant I want to put in here. So let's go ahead and get that started. So I'm gonna add the little plant, it's a Anubius Nana. We're gonna add it right back here in the back. We wanna move the sand. Now the sand still got bubbles in it, so that's okay. I wish I had all those fancy aquascaping tools. That would be really cool. But I do not. So my hand is going to work fine. There is that. And it will grow bigger and taller here soon. And the little fish going in here is absolutely going to love that little plant. See if I can get some of the sand back down in here. Didn't know it has that many air bubbles in it. Thought it was pretty settled, but I guess not. Now let's start adding some rocks. So, I'm not going to go too big, but I do want a nice sized one. So, I got this one right here. We'll just add it right there. All that sand's coming off on my hand. That's all right. We'll get some more nice sized ones. I'm just gonna kind of build up over that. Just gonna kind of keep it nice and simple. Let me get some of these smaller ones. And we'll just kind of dribble them in there a little bit. make it not look natural at all kick my tripod that's looking pretty good I wish I had a few more plants to put in there but that's gonna be really good for now I'll probably get some either Monte Carlo or dwarf hair grass to lay in the front of it I've also got the light set up for it I just wanted to get all this done and get the fish in here because the fish was acclimating for at least 20 or 30 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and get the fish in here. And I will show y'all this absolutely gorgeous female. Look at those colors. And it's just a female bell tail. I haven't had one in a while. So I thought I would get one. I was actually out getting a heater for the goldfish tank today, and I seen this, and I was like, yeah, might as well get her. She's pretty. And this is also kind of a uh, surprise to the girlfriend for when she gets home.
check everything out look at those colors here I'll get y'all a little bit closer very nice I'll go ahead and put the light back on for y'all and the light is just a 10 gallon tank hood it just works really well for all three of these tanks and makes it look good too so if i just set it like this close that there we go now there's the light in our beautiful little beta hopefully soon we will get more um more plants definitely more plants but uh hopefully she'll settle in nice and she's got some snail friends in there and then for the tanks to her left are both going to be shrimp tanks whenever they're done. I got to scape them. I got to get sand for this one. I'm going to do this one with white sand. And this one is going to stay the same. Just clean it up a good bit. And this one doesn't have a filter in it yet. But this one and the one on the right does. So yeah. We'll go ahead and feed the fish room and uh, go from there so today guys we're gonna feed tetra men plus just something with a little more flavor for the fish I've been feeding them regular flake foods and blood worms and stuff so we're just gonna feed all of the tanks a little gold fish in here give them some we'll go over here to the molly give them a really big pinch they'll come start eating in a second then we'll feed the killifish I left their light off today kind of let them relax there I've seen some aggression in that tank so I'll calm them down a little bit and all these guys are always fired up to eat all the angelfish and Everybody's already up at the top. Let's just get a big old clump of food in here. Everybody's going to just start chowing down. So beautiful. And then we'll just feed these guys and the babies. Make sure we pinch those up a little bit more. And then the rice fish and there's a pygmy koi right there there's two of them actually we'll go ahead and give them just a small little pinch a little more than that and then they can chow on that for a while then of course this big tank give them a whole bunch they love to eat over here that angelfish is going to town. And then nothing is still in there, so we're not gonna feed over there. We'll feed the bed of last because I'm gonna get some uh some of the little granules for her. We shall not feed in this tank. Nothing's in there. We'll see if the goldfish like the uh so these two heaters I turned off. I just wanted to keep them warm out here. But I went and got that heater today and set it to 72 for the plecos and the goldfish. Just to make them a wee bit happier. Oh yeah. Y'all must be hungry, huh? Oh yeah. And then we'll go ahead and feed this tank. We got the big guy right there. We got one in this new egg. I uh, got this today as well. And then nobody's under there. And there's those two. And Petey. We'll go ahead and feed this tank a nice big pinch. And we'll feed some over here. 
That way, you know, everybody's gonna get some food. See if I can catch them eating. Yeah. Those are the only two that want to eat right now. All the females are coming out. Oh yeah. But these two love to eat. These are still, um, I reckon all of these are still just a little shy. So I was just trying to watch them, trying to watch them eat too. Oh yeah. And uh, this is my absolute favorite tank. Just so fun to watch them eat. I'm sure these guys will come out once they're used to everything. And the goldfish are just chowing down. But yeah guys, I just wanted to kind of show you all setting up a little tank for the better. I just happened to spontaneously buy it, so I was like, might as well remove my tripod. And this tank is actually gonna be swapped with that tank. This one's gonna come over here because this one has the painted background and I wanna line it up right there so you know, that side or this side, whichever side is painted black. There we go. We get some little some granules for that one in my little drawer. Got these right here. Not sure if she'll eat quite yet, but uh. Just gave her a little bit of food up there to. Maybe if she's hungry, she'll eat. Some of the sand still has to sink down, but um, there's a lot of air bubbles still there. I thought the snails would have run through the sand a little better, but overall, I think it looks great. Absolutely love it. It's just simple, and I really like simple. You know, I really do want to get some like Monte Carlo or dwarf hair grass to kind of line the front of those rocks with. But other than that, leave in the comments what do you think of this tank? Is it too simple? Or what else should we do to it? And then I still have aquaponics. I might end up taking it down because I really want to use this light for the big 75 outside. Just haven't gotten around to that yet. Haven't really decided. But all the fish are doing good that we got the other day. This tank is just lively right now I think she's eating a little bit Uh, maybe not. Alright guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See y'all next time.